Good morning. Welcome once again to Learning Economics with Ben. In this occasion, we're, we're going to learn distribution of income. Come with me. We have distribution of income. Income inequality can be measured. You can do this with the help of the Lorentz curve. The Lorentz curve takes data about household income gathered in national income surveys and it presents them graphically. I'm going to show you the general graph for a Lorentz curve. The y-axis is a cumulative percentage of the total income and the x-axis represents the cumulative percentage of total population. Every point on the Lorentz curve represents a statement like the bottom 20% of all households have 10% of the total income. A perfectly equal income distribution would be one in which every person has the same income. In this case, the bottom n percent of society would always have n percent of the income. This can be depicted by the straight line y equals x, called the line of perfect equality, which is represented by this red line. By contrast, a perfectly unequal distribution would be one in which one person has all the income and everyone else has none. In that case, the, curl, the curve would be at y equals zero for x less than 100% and y would be equal to 100% when x equals 100%. Now, I, I'm going to show you a specific example. I will show you this table. This table represents several countries, the distribution of income. We're going to observe, we're going to observe the distribution of income of two specific countries, Brazil and Hungary. Let's see the graph. Again, I'm having two axes, the X representing the cumulative percentage of the total population and the Y axis representing the cumulative percentage of the total income. This line represents Hungary and this line represents Brazil. As you can see in the graph, we have a line of absolute, uh, of absolute equality that indicates a perfectly equal distribution of income. This is represented by the red line where for example, 10% of the population earns 10% of the income and 90% of the population earns 90% of the income. We have these two countries, Brass, Hungary and Brazil. The further away the country is from the line of absolute equality, the more unequal the distribution of income. In this case, Brazil has, no more, in, has more inequality in income than Hungary. The Gini index, which we can observe it, observe it in this side of the table, summarizes the information presented in the whole table and on the Lorentz curve. The Gini index is derived from the Lorentz curve and is a ratio of the area between the line of equality between line A and line B. 
the higher the Gini index, the more unequal is the distribution of income. Again, as we can observe in the table, Brazil has a more unequal distribution of income than Hungary.